Let me tell you about a weird Netflix movie coming out this week. What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing Horse Girl, which stars the likes of Allison Brie, Debbie Ryan, John Reynolds, and Molly Shannon. And this is a brand new Netflix movie. I'm a big fan of Allison Brie. I was looking forward to this. And currently I'm at Sundance 2020. And I got to see this movie early. And let me tell you, I dug it. For the most part. Doesn't mean I loved it. And I definitely had some issues with it, but we'll get to those. And of course, before we get any further into this review, guys, if you guys enjoy geeky content, early movie reviews, and all sorts of stuff like that, hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on any of that on this channel on a daily basis. And of course, guys, make sure to comment down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Are you guys excited for this one? Did you guys get to check it out already? Let's discuss it. Horse Girl, once again, stars Allison Bria Sarah, a socially awkward woman with the fondness for arts, crafts, horses, and a supernatural crime show. But as she starts to have these weird, lucid dreams, they start trickling into her actual life. Horse Girl, again, is something I didn't know anything about. I didn't even see the trailer. I saw the poster, and I was quite intrigued with it. But the big gaming factor for me to see this movie was Allison Bria. I'm a huge fan of her. I've been loving what she's been doing with her career after Community and really seeing her able to grow into her own light. And of course, this film is directed by Jeff Bonner and also written by him, but this is also co-written by Alison Brie, which is another major factor for me wanting to check this movie out. And overall, like I mentioned, I dug it. It doesn't mean I loved it, though. I had definitely issues with the third act, but one thing I can definitely say is that Alison Brie is perfection in here. I thought this is her best performance to date. Of course, it's easy to kind of dive into details on that, but it's really, truly her that holds this film together because everyone else is good in here but it's her character because this whole movie revolves around a mystery of you trying to figure out is everything that she's saying and everything that's going on in her life real or is she just crazy and we've seen movies like that before but it's this movie in particular that keeps you on the edge thinking is it real or is it not and a lot of that hinges yeah, it could hinge on the director. Yes, it could hinge on the script, but it really hinges on that performance. And I thought Allison Brie blew it out of the park when it came down to that. Even giving a little bit of a shout out, I did like everything that they were trying to go for in this movie before I get to the ending. I'm not going to get into spoilers, of course, but I liked everything that they were trying to go for. I liked the mysterious element of this. I liked all the different moments that were happening in here. And I liked all the aspects that they're trying to bring in here. But when it came down to literally the last 20 minutes, it sort of lost me because it starts giving you all these answers. And I was glad it was giving me the answers because sometimes you see these movies and they don't give you any answers. It gave you some answers. Doesn't mean I loved all the answers and definitely I didn't hate all the answers. I just felt like they had like four different possibilities that could have been what was going on with her. And they ended up mushing them all together and throwing them all at you at once. And it kind of comes into a convoluted mess in a sense it's not terrible but it just felt like they didn't know how to end the movie and they just decided to throw it all together and say hey it's all these number of possibilities and then you see the movie and then you watch it and you're like okay I, I I guess it's this way I guess it's this way but the best thing is is I would I guess it would have a great discussion about it and maybe you might see it as a different way on the way that it ended I just looked at it and said okay all these possibilities she kept coming up with Looks like they were all real because it looks like she that that's what happened to her. It's just weird. It, it's weird. It's quirky. And that's kind of what the movie's all about. But it doesn't mean it won me over in the end of the day. Or give you guys my final thoughts on Horse Girl. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Do you guys get to check the movie out? Are you guys excited for it? Let's discuss it down there. And of course, if you guys are new here, make sure again to hit that like and subscribe button where I do tons of early movie reviews on here on a daily basis. Again, this is not my normal setup. A lot of these reviews will be done here and in my normal setup when I get home. But thank you guys again so much for all the support. I really wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. And of course, head over to Sandwich on Films on how to see films early. And of course, just a big thank you to you and a big thing in my Patreon supporters because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. Horse Girl is a weird venture. As it starts out as your typical quirky rom-com, it starts to open up into something really far out there. I dug it for the most part, but the last 30 minutes really left me reading and kind of thinking of, did I love this? And upon thinking on it, I didn't. I didn't love the ending on where it went, and it kind of soured me on the whole entire movie. Again, it's an entertaining movie. I just don't think I'll ever care to rewatch it. Alison Brie, though, is perfection, and it's easily her best performance to date. I'm looking forward to whatever she writes or acts in next. So with all that said, I'm going to give Horse Girl a C+. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Are you guys excited for this movie? Are you not? Let's discuss it down below, guys. Thank you guys again so much for all the support. And, of course, until next time, stay classy.